Kansas City. Now, maybe you thought it was cute when they were younger, you know, your child knowing how to get their way. Uh, now, all growing up, they may still be trying to manipulate you. And the question is, do you know what's happening? Well, Dr. Carrie Dixon, also known as Dr. Mom, is here to share tips on how to recognize if your child is doing this and how to put a stop to it. Now, obviously, it's cute. My daughter is five. She knows how to get me to relent and get what she wants, right? Because she's okay. super mega cute. Okay. But when she turns 18, 19, 20, 25, 30 years old, I don't maybe want to be manipulated into doing stuff that she wants me to do because I'm my own man. I'm strong, right? How That's do I recognize these, these keys and what's kind of some traits of that manipulation that your older children can do to their parents? Well, first of all, Bill, you said when she turns 18. Let's start before she okay, gets 18, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. Let's, let's <laughs> set the stage let's right set, here. Let's set the stage because, <laughs> well, because you're right. When she's little, it's cute. I mean, it's all how cute is yeah. she and you're kind of, and, and it gets to your heartstrings. Mm -hmm. But the older she gets, the more manipulation can make you feel like you've done something wrong. Yeah. Like you are not the parent you thought you were. And, and always remember that we've done the best we could. Yeah. We, we've done the best we could with the tools we have, but oftentimes what happens is they want to manipulate you to get you to do something that they want. Mm -hmm. And that's unhealthy. And that tells you that it's an unhealthy relationship and oftentimes that child is unhealthy within. Do you find a lot of the times the situations involve money and finances? Oh yeah, absolutely. Is that what a majority, because that's what it seems like to me, a majority of it would be that, or maybe like some sort of relationships that they're a part of or something, they make you feel guilty about not, you know, not appreciating or not, uh, not what's the word I'm trying to say, where you're not, about who they're seeing or somebody like that, well, you know, well, a relationship or something. But, but Bill, a lot of it also is selective memory. Yeah. So that they, they see things, and everyone's perspective is different, of course, we know that. But the way they say what they've seen and how they grew up is to make you feel like something's wrong with you or you've done something incorrect oh, gotcha. so that then they can get you to see things either through their eyes or get you to do what they want you to do. So how do we then not feel guilty about saying no or not going along with what they want and not being manipulated by them? Well, remembering also that it's a relationship. You're mm -hmm. always the parent, but now they're adults or they're young adults and they're people. And so it's not so much, it's not a hierarchy. Yeah. And you've done, and I always say this, we've done the best we can. Mm -hmm. And so you've done the best you could. Mm -hmm. So now, who are you, who am I? And oftentimes parents change. I mean, what you did when the kid was five, six, seven, ten, you're a different person now that you're older and you've grown as well. And just being, Feeling comfortable saying no. Yeah. Or, or feeling. <laughs> That's like the hardest part, though, it seems like, whether your child is five, ten years old, or like <clears throat> you, you were saying, dealing yeah. with an adult, adult child, saying no can be the hardest thing sometimes. Well, and being comfortable changing your mind. Yeah. You can say, you know what, I've changed my mind. It's okay. And that's okay to change your mind. It is okay to change your mind. And just to let them know that you're a person, mm -hmm. that you are a, a normal human person, and to have a relationship that treats one another as as, as almost as, as colleagues, as family members, not so much as a mother or father and then the kid. Yeah, and talking a little bit, we only got about 30 seconds left, but how to set those boundaries, because I know you want to talk a little bit about that too. Yeah, 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 but by, by starting early, starting and, early yeah. and not thinking everything is so cute and allowing <laughs> them to get away with okay. it when they're younger. So what you're saying is I'm on the wrong path right now, I need to get back over on that setting boundaries. I wouldn't say the wrong path, okay. you're on another path. Another path, yes. see, that's why she's Dr. Mom and we love having her all the time. So Carrie, Dixon, thank, thank you again for your time this morning. Thank you so much. We do Bill. appreciate it. Belinda.